Amit asks, what is the relationship between compounding and inflation? Compounding and inflation, the connection is that uh, normally interest rates are pegged at inflation. So depending on the inflation rate, because the whole idea of interest rate is that it should be able to, you should be able to earn some positive return. So if inflation rates go down substantially, inflation goes down substantially, interest rates will come down because even a small, you know, assuming in, in the United States of America, we have seen that interest rates are very low. So even 2-3% return looks very, very decent and that also translates into a higher rate of return, uh, you know, positive return for investors. In, in India, the inflation has been high. So even though we see that high interest rate, 8-9% return, which we earn on our deposits, even even now we are able to earn eight and a quarter or eight and a half percent on some of the sovereign guaranteed uh, savings avenue for the senior citizens. It looks very high, but it's not very high because our inflation is high. Uh, so our net, you know, our you know, post inflation, inflation adjusted return is far lower. So, so if interest rates come down, so I think inflation is the reference for the returns that will be generated in the economy. So if inflation, and then equity premium, what is being referred as what we earn on our risk capital is a function of what is the prevailing risk-free return. So if inflation is 5% and if our fixed income return is 8%, then I would expect a higher return from equity. So it, inflation is the basis of the returns that we tend to expect and the system justifies you know, those, the return on those capital. So in future, if interest rates, are, in, if inflation is going to be very low, interest rates will come down. Interest rates will come down. Equity returns will also come down. But we will still be better off because it is the differential which matters that are we able to beat inflation by a wide margin. And if we are able to, even though the absolute returns might be lower, we will still be much better off. And I think beating inflation is very pertinent because like compounding has a, a brilliant effect on our returns, but it can similarly have a devastating effect with inflation, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you have this investment and assuming that we are compounding at 10%, but inflation is at 12%, then all your compounding goes waste because by the time you accumulate your, you know, if the, the way your money accumulates and effectively the terminal value of, of your investment will be such that it will be not be able to buy, it will lose its purchasing power. So loss of purchasing power is negative return. If you could buy something worth, you know, if you can buy something for a lakh of rupees today and if you have after five years, two lakh rupees, but you can't buy that thing for two lakh rupees, which means even though your money has grown, but it has lost its purchasing power. 